today, y'all, I'm going to prepare uh, my famous sweet potato pie, y'all. So y'all can have some for the holidays, okay? But before I get started with that, y'all, I just want to talk a little bit. Let y'all know, coming soon, probably in the next week, no, next two weeks, I'm going to be doing a whole baking spread of some cakes and sweets to get y'all prepared for the holidays, okay, y'all? Y'all, every wish is my command, because this is cooking with Tilpy. Y'all know what I say. I know, sir, you wrong, boo. Okay, so we're going to have a whole spread. i probably do a red velvet cake, 7-up pound cake, you know. Um, I'm going to introduce my sister who's going to build a page. Um, she's she's a recovering from having breast cancer, y'all. So I'm going to start incorporating her. And when I do my baking spread, it's going to be two sisters in the kitchen baking off, okay? So we're going to, like I said, we're going to do red velvet cake, sour cream pound cake, probably a 7-up pound cake, a pecan pie, a turtle cream cheese cake, and a little bit more. I got a lot of stuff in store for y'all, okay? And um, again, as always, I thank y'all for watching me and subscribing to me and viewing my page. Uh, keep telling a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend to watch Cooking with Tip, okay? So again, today, we're going to start off our baking with some sweet potato pies. I have here two deep, two deep dish uh, Pillsbury pie shells. I got a stick of pure butter unsalted. My cinnamon, my nutmeg. I got two eggs, some lemon flavor, some butter flavor, some vanilla flavor, condensed milk, evaporated milk, brown sugar, and white sugar, y'all. In my bowl, I had two large sweet potato yams, okay? That's all you need for two pies. Now, I like the deep dish, but if you like the, the regular shells, you get whatever your heart desire, okay? So let's get started with cooking with tip, y'all, and let's make these sweet potato pies, okay? Okay, y'all, so what I done, I boiled my two sweet potatoes for like an hour and a half, almost two hours, until my fork can go all the way through. I peeled them and I let them cool. Now, some people don't like boiling their sweet potatoes. but My mom always boiled hers, but you also can roast them off in the oven. That keep most of the sweetness in the uh, sweet potato, so that's a good way to do them too. You butter them down, poke holes in them, and and uh, roast them off, but they, I just boiled them for an hour and a half until my fork can go through them. Everything is room temperature. You got one stick of pure butter that's going to go in here first. Now, y'all, I'm baking with one beater today because I don't know where my other beater at. So, y'all say keep it real. This is as real as you get <laughs> when you only got one beater to mix up your pie, but it's going to do what it's going to do, okay? I ain't got my KitchenAid no more and a lot of my pots everybody asked me back because I went through some life changes. That's why I was off the air for a minute. But that's neither there here nor there. So let's get started, y'all. So I'm going to add this butter in here. One stick of butter, two large sweet potatoes, okay? And I always put, I always put how many potatoes I use, one egg per potato, okay, y'all? All right. So let me blend the uh, sweet potato and the butter together with one beater, y'all. One beater. Hey, it's real in the field, y'all. Okay? So let's get started. It's going to do the same justice. So we're going to put this down in here and get this beaded up real good. It's okay if y'all talk about me. It's okay. So we're just going to bring this up together, yes. Trying to get this all good. I'm going to break the butter and stuff real good. Put my bowl around. Down, fool. 
got one beat of y'all, I'm gonna get me a fork and make sure I mash all the chunks out because you don't want no pie. Look at me, camera man. You don't want no pie with chunks in it, okay? And what I hate that I only got one beat because I see this one of these potatoes is kind of stringy. I don't like no stringy uh, pie. So we're gonna smooth this out real good, y'all. Yes. Let me get me a fork. So I'm going to take my fork and gently mash it here too. Make sure I don't have no chunks since I got to go ghetto style with my one beater today, y'all. That's crazy. I got one beater and I ain't got no order. But it's okay. We got to hear fork. I'm going to make sure I get all my lumps out. And when you're doing this, make sure you cool your potatoes down. Because trust me, one day I was cooking one holiday about, I'm going to say about six years back. And I was so tired, y'all, I took them potatoes. And I was a little delirious. And I started mixing my pies up. And uh, they were so hot. And I'm like, why my skin so soothing? I forgot I ain't let my, my uh, potatoes cool, y'all. So make sure you make sure your potatoes are cool before you start adding your ingredients to your sweet potatoes, okay? Because if not, it's going to be so soupy and runny and it just ain't going to be right. Okay? So I'm just mashing this. Make sure I get all my lumps out. So you don't want no lumpy pack. Okay, and also let me open these shells up so they can be right. Put all your uh, shells out by five or ten minutes before you put them, your pie filling in them. So I had them had these out in the freezer. They look all. Let me just separate them and get them right. There you go. Okay, mash this some more. Y'all won't have to do the mashing unless you want to, but I got to because I got this one beater I'm working with. Okay, and again, the ingredients that I'm using, cinnamon, nutmeg, two eggs because I had two large potatoes, lemon extract, I like to use pure li uh, butter extract, vanilla extract, dense milk, evaporated milk, cinnamon, I mean brown sugar, and regular sugar, okay? And this is just like when you season the food too. You do it to your own taste. If you're a diabetic, don't like all that sugar, don't add no. If you want it a little sweet, not a whole lot, just add to your taste and your likings, okay? I can't stress that enough. Cause some people be talking about, oh, her food look like it's salty as hell. My food be on point, baby. Ain't nothing never salty. But guess what? Again, my bowls are deep and I have a lot of stuff that I be cooking. So it look like my seasoning be heavy. It don't, y'all. My food be on point. Cause cooking with tilt, I don't never stay wrong, baby. Mm -mm, no, 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 no. But let's get back to these pies, y'all. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend this some more. Now that I'm mashing with the sauce. Yes. Get out of your 
bowl. The second egg, because again, I use one egg per potato. And I had two large potatoes, okay, y'all? nutmeg and my flavors. I'm going to put got my teaspoon over here. I'm going to put a teaspoon of cinnamon. Bam! I'm going to do two of this and one of the nutmeg, okay? So two, two of the cinnamon, one of the nutmeg, There we go, y'all. Got my pure lemon extract. I'm going to put a teaspoon of lemon. There you go. A teaspoon of everyone, the butter, the vanilla, and the lemon. Teaspoon. Bam. Yes, y'all. Yes. So that's my flavor, my cinnamon, and my nutmeg, okay? I'm going to mix this together. I might put another teaspoon of lemon in here because that lemon makes it pop. And if you got a lemon, I'm going to put some lemon zest off in here too, y'all.
y'all know what I'm thinking since my potatoes were so large this time. I'm going to use me a third egg, okay? I took one out over here just to have them stand by because I had two big potatoes like this. Now, if you get the smaller ones, it's one per potato. So since they were so large, I'm going to use me a third egg, okay? Cup out, cause we got to start measuring the sugar and the brown sugar, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna put me a um half a cup of this uh brown sugar in here, y'all. Light brown sugar. Y'all see that? Half cup. We're going to start it off to our tasting. Okay? And I'm going to start off with one cup of sugar. Yes, ma'am. So a half cup of brown sugar, cup of sugar. And then we're going to taste it and see how much more the consistency we need in here. I don't want my power to see this, y'all. Take my pie crust, sit in the oven, 
I, I preheated my oven on 375 because we're going to bake the power on 375 for 45 minutes to an hour. Go to brown. Okay. But right now, I always like to stick my shells in there for five or six minutes and get that bottom going a little bit before I add my dough. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put these in the oven for five or six minutes, take them out. Then we're going to fill them because y'all guess what? This mix is on point, baby. You hear me? Watch the hill. Can man taste this hill? You tell them what it be like. And let them know you don't just be saying, mm mm. This is like, mm mm. Cause, baby, tip know what she doing. Tip know what she doing. Take that down, cameraman. I don't need nothing else in it. No. Mm -mm. Uh, let them hear you. That's good right now. That's good right there, baby. Yep, yep. All right now. So we gonna go put these in the oven for five or six minutes, and then we gonna put some egg wash around here so my crust be gold brown and fill it. And then we gonna bake it for three seventy five for forty five minutes to an hour, y'all. This cooker with tip, I'll be right back with you, okay? Ready? Okay, y'all. So now. I done took my shells out. I put them in there for five minutes just to let them cook at the bottom a little bit. What I got now, I got an egg in here. We're going to egg wash the sides of your pie shell. That keep them all golden and pretty. Keep them from burning and stuff, okay? So we just like to brush the sides of your pie shell, y'all. That's how you do that. Hey, watch the pie shells. Yes, baby. Tell my son going to be good. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, all thing you do is pour your mixing in, in your um, pie shell. Wait a minute, y'all. Okay, your spatula or something on hand, get all your stuff out your bowl. I'm gonna go get on and use my butter knife. Uh huh. Move them on that. That's all you do, baby. And again, I preheated my oven. Look at the cameraman. I preheated the oven to 375. We're going to bake these hip pies. For 45 minutes to an hour to golden brown, okay? Okay, so now we got to do is put them in that oven on 375. Bake them for 45 minutes to an hour. Golden brown. And then we're going to show you the finished product, okay, y'all? So let me go get these in the oven. And I'll be back with you, y'all, because this is cooking with tip. Boom! Okay, y'all, I'm back. And these pies are done. As y'all can see, I have two beautiful beautiful sweet potato pies. I've taken them out the oven. They still a little warm, but they done cooled down enough to cut and show y'all my finishing product. This is cooking with Tilt and her sweet potato pies, y'all. And again, I don't never stir it wrong. Look at that. Y'all like how that look? Y'all let me know. Let me know how these sweet potato pies look, y'all, baby, baby. Yes. I'm finna get this here knife cut off in this pie y'all yes cuz I'm ready <laughs> is y'all ready yes so it's still just a tad bit warm but I'm ready for this hill I'm ready for this pie y'all I'm gonna cut off in my pie baby yes 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 mm-hmm let me get off in here it's still a little warm y'all but I'm ready for it. Oh, 
y'all see that though? Do y'all see this? Look at that crust. Yes. Yes. This is what y'all wanted. And this is what cooking with till get ya. Okay. I'm finna go right on in here. Yes, y'all. Look. Y'all wanna see it? Yes. <laughs> Ooh. Y'all, this pie so good and butter. I gotta do it again. One more. Mm, 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 mm. That's some sweet potato pie for you. But, do you hear me? Y'all, this been cooking with tip. Keep viewing, keep subscribing, and I'm gonna keep making these videos and doing what I do for you, baby. Yes, this is cooking with tilt. Peace.